Hey guys, I'm just here to talk about how War Robots is starting to get out of hand. So, basically, um, everything that I experience in Quick Match and, yeah, Domination, Beacon Rush, every single game mode, there will be robots with curving bullets and stuff, which isn't going to, like, help that much. Uh, unlike Mech Arena, you can just bat battle it out, but in War Robots, it's not the same as the old War Robots now. Um, because there are now Typhons, you can, like, honestly, you can just, just use curving bullets and stuff. It's not that much of fun anymore. Uh, only when you, like, kind of upgrade all your robots to, like, Mark Three and items and stuff, it, it really isn't. Like, here, for example, this guy is using curving bullets. Uh, I can't really defend well, but... Yeah, it's you can still try and but when he gets close, you you you, you don't have it. so and then your robot dies and then yeah, that's probably it for me unless I manage to nope. No, I can't. And also the amount of lag is insane, don't you realize? Um here, I'm going to spawn him with my most powerful uh, robot ever, because it is a Mark II. It's, Mark IIs are actually, oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, okay, I regret doing that. It was just that his resistance is pretty much off. So, I think I might be in a lot of trouble. Oh my god, the la the amount of lag is kind of insane here. At least I can I get the kill. Yes. Uh, teleport. And just in time and pom. Nice. I uh, but you really in these circumstances you really just have to try your best to to not die. And oh, I just I just quickly just perfect timed it so that I don't get hit by curving bullets and these explosive things. Uh, this guy is going to heal. I'm going to uh, quickly just kill him. Pump, and then teleport back. And I have also another shield waiting for me, which is really, really good. But uh, I'm not going to really last for long. As you can see, again. And let's pump, 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 pump. Nice. And then, okay, I have to uh, lock onto this guy, engage on this guy, because uh, this guy is really disturbing. Uh, maybe not now, uh, maybe because of my lag. So, like, War Robots is currently just getting out of hand, although all these graphics are on the low, low graphic side, and then I set it to 60 FPS. This is a good, good, well, well, well Wi-Fi connected uh, device and yeah, I don't see how this this is so laggy and also the robot as you can see these are shredders and I, I can assume that they're all mark 3 and stuff it's crazy like even the Daymater it's it's crazy so that's that's a lot of negatives about war robots. In the past, it wasn't that of a big deal when I lag because it's probably just my Wi-Fi. But now it's just getting out of hand. As you can see, these these guys, it's not it's not that good. And also the Capris, they just have no weaknesses at all. They 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 can just equip everything like all the curving bullets and stuff and they can just curve it on to people and look at this these are all shredders i would have died if i didn't have the shield that that's that's not not that of a that's a huge negative and that and as you can see again he lagged uh, again and someone yeah someone deactivated him forget it um here and look, all these robots, it's getting out of hand. It's starting to go crazy. I've, like, 
back then when i started war robots we didn't have all this flying stuff we don't the only good flying things are the ao chun uh the ao kin ao guang and then the ao ming only the dragon robots fly and then now they're it's like getting out of hand like there's sirens they're harpies they're there's so many flying robots which have immense amounts of resistance and all these weapons that have immense amount of damage like this is starting to really like you know it's not 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 pretty pretty much not sensible at all now and yeah i just really want to talk about this so that um <clears throat> i think war robots should really change the fact that they're over pretty much sometimes overdoing things overdoing like their updates and stuff um and yeah this is starting to get a bit crazy here and see all of them are using curving bullets and we don't stand a chance against anyone um and these are probably all pay to win guys so um um warbots also has to fix that they maybe should separate separate um pay to win and also um free to play people so that we we have a fair we have a fair team and stuff, not like having suddenly a Mark III Seraph and one team with Mark III Shredders. Like, kind of crazy, huh? Really crazy. This guy can't move. Oh, he can shoot me from the corner. But, really crazy. Um, this guy, maybe I can, uh, okay. This guy, this guy is, should be, well, how? I wasn't even near. So, they also have to fix the targeting, because that wasn't targeted to me. I walked out of that zone, I swear to God. That's also one of the disadvantages that War Robots has. Uh, there weren't any motherships back then. The The best thing were only, like, module, shield breaker, all that. But now you have to really plan your strategy. It's really sometimes annoying now. So it's like... And yeah, War Robots also has to fix some of these slopes if they can. Because it's a... Yep. Because I fly. Nope. Yep, see, this guy is fully equipped with curving bullets. He's trying to curve on me, but I'm just not letting him. I'm trying my best to just defend against these bullets. And he maybe can be able to, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe able to, like, shoot me from around this angle. Like, the angle of shooting, it's, it's a bit too much, I feel like. I feel like they should fix how much angle you can actually use instead. Like, n it's not that good now. Like, curving bullets and stuff. Like this guy. This guy is using curving bullets. Uh, maxed out Capri, I, I can assume. Then he can just charge into our base with, like, no almost no problems at all. Because he's a Capri, and these are robots that aren't really free to play yep see this guy is fully equipped with avalanches and you don't really get avalanches unless you actually get them i saw them in the offers before it's crazy but yeah war robots really does have to fix this um oh my what was that yep see avalanche mark three like, there's no way to defeat these guys unless you are doing pay to win. It's ridiculous. Almost too ridiculous. Oh my god. And I can assume this is a Mark III Seraph. Same thing. Mark II. Th but that is a Mark III Seraph. I can easily tell. I can easily tell. Because, just no way. No way that isn't a Mark III. And this Fenrir has to be maxed because he's suppressed. He's everything. He's like, full. our team did everything just to stop these guys. But we just can't keep it equal because you can see. I mean, yes, there is a nether, but 
they're another they probably won some kind of giveaway if they were lucky not sure about that but this is getting out of hand man crazy unless you are you need to really max out everything just to like win in these type of battles now there you really don't really stand a chance anymore and you can they can just curve the bullets from here yep because it's 400 meters it's 500 meters range and the curve the curve is almost like crazy like you can curve over one almost w around a hundred degree corners it's it's a bit too much I would say like all I see now in war robots is um, curving bullets and mecarina that can compare to mecarina because mecarina doesn't have flying robots it doesn't have all of this fancy stuff and yeah all these airstrike stuff it's not there it's just non-existent in mecarina they keep it really simple you can just fight and yeah although you have good weapons you don't you don't need like the robots have different abilities that's cool but nothing's like flying you don't have like like the blinding effect and stuff i feel like war robots is starting to make things a bit too op and it's a bit too ridiculous to just you know yeah so and the amount of lag too it's almost like crazy and he is supposed to spawn over here no yeah and then I can fly um, I'm gonna see even when I'm flying and then yep this is a mark to Seraph it's crazy honestly Honestly, I can't believe what War Robots has become in, like, these few years. It's a bit too crazy. Yeah, also a comment. A comment also said that War Robots is getting out of hand. I, I, can, I can actually agree to that now. Because pay to win, free to play, it's, it, it just, doesn't, just doesn't match, right? It's not, not, not that of a... P pay to win players don't think it's that much of a problem just pay and win but for free to play players it's a bit unfair I'd say and yep I got easily demolished and my teammate shouldn't be able to handle this guy because this guy is pretty okay um lucky um, that, oh, that's a hemi dog. That's why. Um, okay. Oh my, look at these guys. These guys can just shoot. These are honestly just f basically pay to win. Basically, not, not a doubt. Not a doubt. Easily, I can easily tell. These are play to wins. P pay to wins. What? Um... They captured our beacon. I'm gonna try and attempt, try my best to and and attempt, attempt this with these overly used weapons. I'd give it a try, yeah, but still, it does nothing to this Mark Two, Mark Three, whatever Orochi that's oh, right over here. It's not not. No, it doesn't really make sense now at this point. They're going to probably spawn again. No, they're not because we already capped the beacon. That was just pure luck. Um, and then this guy is EMP'd. He's using the overly wall, wall, over wall shooting weapons and then it's like multi-target it's crazy um then oh he's not locked because he he has the resistance and everything just on there it's crazy and then that's an odin's okay i'm gonna try and get him oh what wow you, you could see my health just drop without any reason at all so this is 
my video about how war robots is getting out of hand, uh, please fix this.